Hey guys. Okay, so last video for today, as far as I know, lip products. Unique has great products for your lips. I am a lips, I've always been a lipstick, lip gloss fiend. I love them. Um, and Unique has some really, really great ones. Um, they have several different options depending on what kind of coverage of lipstick or, mm. or pigment you really want and what kind of look you want. Um, the lightest is um, the Lip Bonbons. Look like this. And they're basically a tinted lip balm that give you just a little bit of color and moisture on your lips. If this is what, if you don't want to have a really dramatic lip color on, you don't want to really worry with lip color, you don't have to use a liner, you can just put, toss it in your bag, put it on, and you're good to go. Um, the next kind of step up as far as lipsticks go, hey baby, um, is the opulence uh, lipstick, unique opulence stop. Sorry, the dog. Um, and that they come in a bunch of different great shades. Darcy, yeah, you, Darcy, excuse me. Get down, baby. Get down. Get down. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so this one is well to do. This is a great one for a nude lip. You can see it's very much a nude skin toned lipstick. It goes on very creamy. It looks really nice. Um, these are the only ones I have. There are plenty more colors out there. I have Swanky, which is this great brown shade. It actually is brown. It looks a little red on the video, but it's a great shimmery brown shade. Almost like a copper penny type thing. Think about it that way. Really pretty. Um, we have the Pretentious, which is a shimmery rosy pink which everybody loves this when I wear it um, I get a ton of compliments on this one this is like a raspberry shimmer yeah see oh no good, good, good you can see the sparkle in there yay um, but this is one that I this was the first one I bought this is one I really have enjoyed using and like a lot um, I also have conceited which is another pink but it's more of a babe not a baby pink but more of a petal pink I guess rosy pink and really pretty the only other one I have is the one that came that, that came with the um, unique foundation gift set that they did a couple of months back um, that was to help with uh, raising awareness for ch childhood sexual abuse and um, trafficking and everything like that and this one is called sitting pretty it's a very I got purple eye, the purple lip liner on its side, but it's a very, very light, shimmery pink. Um, this works great with a dark lip liner. This is actually what I'm wearing right now. This um, is the Sitting Pretty with the Pretentious Liner, which is a dark uh, wine, almost purple liner. Uh, we also have lip glosses. Um, the lip glosses are terrific. I am a lip gloss fanatic. Um, I have several colors. Um, there are a ton of colors. I need to get some more of them. Um, but I'll show you the ones I have. This is Lavish. I actually wear this one with the um, Pretentious Lipstick. Um, and it's really pretty. You can see all the glitter in there. It looks really good. Um, I have Lethal, which is your red. It's uh, more of your Candy Apple Red gloss. Um, this one looks really good on, but like I said, this is like your classic Candy Apple Red lipstick. I have Luscious, which is a slightly darker red um, lip gloss. So with this one, this one is more of your classic old Hollywood red lipstick. Not quite as bright as the Lethal is. I then have Ladylike, which is, it looks really, really bright, but it's actually a very neutral shade on. There we go. Yeah, see, it looks almost like neon, but it's not. <laughs> If you line it, depending on the liner you use with this, it depends on how much color you're going to get because you're picking up a lot of the color from the liner. Um, this one actually is very sheer. Um, it gives you just like a little wash of like a coral color on your lips. Very pretty there. And this one is Lovesick. And this is the kind of the same kind of deal as the Ladylike. It's a very sheer shade. The, this one has, has shimmer in it. You can see that, yeah. Um, this one has shimmer in it, but it's going to pick up your... Um, lip liner color a lot so you can use it if you want to do a darker color like what I'm wearing right now you could use it for with this to come up with a slightly darker color you could use it with the pouty lip liner which is a very neutral nude um, and that would be fine that would come up with a slightly more nude natural look 
Um, you could use it with one of the pink lip liners, such as Posh, which is that kind of bubble with going pink. You'd have more of a pink shade. And then, of course, you have the Primal lip gloss as well, which is your red that you're going to use with your Lethal or your Luscious or with anything if you want to come up with a more red look. Um, so I've kind of gone through, I've kind of gone through the lip liners as well, but there is Pompous. This is the one I'm wearing right here. Um, so it's more of a burgundy wine and you can't really see that particularly well, but it's burgundy, like a burgundy wine purple shade. Um, but that one, that one is really pretty with a lot of different looks. Um, we also have, if you're wanting for some, wanting something very long wearing, we have um, lip stains. They're called the uh, Stiff Upper Lip Stains. I only have two of the colors now, but right now, but they uh, have a ton of them. I have Skittish, which is this one, and just because, like you see it, the bright pink, that's what it comes out. It comes out as a very bright, bubblegummy um, pink shade, uh, which is actually very pretty. And then I have this one, which is Sultry. This is, it looks really dark. It actually is not. Um, this actually comes out to be a nice raspberry um, wine red shade. So it's a darker wine red. Um, it's really pretty though. I like this. This one's one of my favorites actually. Um, and we have just launched um, the Unique Splash liquid lipsticks, which are these. There you go. You can kind of see the lettering. Um, I forget how many colors, but there are quite a few colors in those. Um, the one I have is Spellbound. It is the dark um, purple shade. It is a what they call a midnight purple. Um, it's a little dark for my taste on my lips. However, it makes a fantastic eyeliner, purple eyeliner. I know it sounds crazy, but actually that's what I'm wearing right now. That is the Splash Liquid Lipstick as an eyeliner on my eyelids. So... Use them versatile. Use them, use them any way, way you can if once you get them. Um, but that's basically the lip um, products that they have, Unique has. We have a ton of different ones depending on what you want. Uh, tons of really pretty, gorgeous colors. They just came out with, um, I think it was five new liner colors in, for the lips, which are really, really pretty. Um, Unique also has really great um, tools as far as their brushes, as far as... Um, their beauty blenders, um, they have an eyelash curler, um, I'm still using my Revlon <laughs> eyelash curler, but you know, um, but they have literally every brush you could really think of having or needing, um, they actually have that you can buy, and they're really good quality brushes, I use their eyeshadow brushes all the time, this is their, um, and they're double ended, which is even better, you get kind of double the bang for your buck. This is the Angled Shadow and Sponge Brush. So it has one of those little spongy applicator things. Then it has this nice angled shadow brush on the other end. And then I have the Liner Shader Brush, which this end is the liner brush. I use this for my eyeliner. I also use this to fill in my brows. And it has the shader brush, which is this nice, round, like fluffy filbert head brush, like you normally see with an eyeshadow brush but it's actually they're really really are nice and soft they they're but they're also stiff enough that they can apply the color well um, the only one I have that of theirs that is not double ended as far as their shadow brushes is the cream shadow brush which is just a flat as you can see a flat rounded tipped brush for applying that cream shadow to your lids um, I also have their foundation brush which is this little fella here, this little kind of angled, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's, it's a, like almost like a stippling brush type thing. Um, and has a little well in there that you could actually put your foundation right there if you wanted to. Um, I use a foundation brush occasionally, but I tend to use um, a beauty blender more. Uh, that's just my preference, whatever you guys want to do. Um, they also have a contour um, and highlight brush. So you have your contour end, which is kind of wedge shaped, like this. And you have your flat paddle brush that is more your highlight. So you're hitting all your high points on your face. And of course you're coming in to contour with your wedge shaped side, you know, around the temples and all that good stuff. Um, that's all the brushes of theirs I have right now. Um, their beauty blenders look exactly like the beauty blenders you would see in Sephora, from Sephora, in your drugstore. I'm sorry, my blinds are just putting lines all over my face. 
I don't know if I can open them and that'd be better. I don't think so. No, it's not better. Um, but, uh, here we go. Get rid of that. Um, they look just like the regular beauty, beauty blenders. Um, they all, they, but one, one of them is larger, one of them is smaller. They come in a set of two. Um, they have your fluffy powder brush, your angled blush brush. Um, very much similar to what I actually use. Their blush brush looks similar to this. Um, their powder puff brush is actually much fuller and shorter. It's almost like a combo powder brush and kabuki brush, if you know what I'm talking about. It's very full head. Um, they have your brow and lash comb. They have all that stuff. Um, so you can go onto the website um, and find the brushes and all that stuff. And this month they're actually doing a great kudos um, of a brush roll uh, for you to keep your brushes in. The brushes are unfortunately sold separately, but um, if you were to buy like the brush set, I'm not sure, but I think you'd be very close to actually getting the roll for free. Um, you might have to buy a few other things, but it's really nice. Um, I'll have more about the kudos and stuff like that later on. But other than that, I think we're kind of at our end. Um, the only other thing I do with my makeup sometimes after I've actually done it is take the rose water um, toner that I told you guys about. That this, this is the spray that I love so very much. And I'll spray a little bit on my face after my makeup is done to help set my makeup and help moisturize my skin. But help make my makeup kind of just kind of stay where it's supposed to be. Alright, so thank you guys and I'll see you guys shortly doing some more makeup looks okay talk to you later bye